Are you ready to delve into the murky world of organized crime? Well, buckle up, because today we'll take a deep dive into the rise of one of the most notorious figures in the Kinahan cartel, Liam Byrne, from humble beginnings to the top ranks of one of Europe's most powerful criminal organizations. So get ready to hear the shocking and captivating tale of how Liam Byrne made his way up the ranks of the Kinahan cartel and the dark deeds he committed along the way. This is a story you won't want to miss. Here we begin. Background with the help of strong family ties and integration into the Kinahan cartel, the Byrne organized crime group rose to the top of Ireland's criminal underworld. The group, led by a Crumlin resident named Liam Byrne, forged a strong alliance with the Kinahan cartel, which has grown to be a major force in international organized crime over the past two decades. The Byrne family has a long history of involvement in organized crime, and Liam's father, James Jaws Byrne, was a self-described hardened criminal who had ties to Martin the General Cahill. Around the turn of the millennium, cab and revenue targeted Jaws because of its reputation for fraud and counterfeiting. In exchange, Jaws agreed to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars in settlements. However, as her son Liam Byrne became prominent in organized crime, the family ties on his wife Sadie's side became useful. They continued that Sadie Byrne is originally from the Roe family, which has close ties to Dublin's top organized crime families. Sadie doesn't engage in criminal activity, but Cab claimed in court documents that she relied on her son's criminal activity for income. As he advanced through the criminal underworld, Liam Byrne relied on some family connections, including those of Liam Rowe, Liam Brannigan, and Fat Freddie Thompson. His Early Life Convictions Liam Byrne was a key player in the South Dublin drug trade and was described by Gardai as a hardened career criminal from a young age. In his early teens, he was dealing drugs with other young criminals supplied by Christy Kinahan Sr., who was based between Ireland and the UK. However, after Kinahan was imprisoned in the 1990s, the supply came elsewhere. Numerous individuals who later joined or were affiliated with rival gangs in the crumlin Drimna feud were also members of this gang. At 19, Liam was found guilty of possessing a firearm, burglary, and reckless driving in connection with an armed robbery. He was given a four-year suspended sentence in January 2000. A vicious baseball attack on former League of Ireland soccer player Trevor Donnelly occurred in April of that year. Even though he was required to maintain the peace as part of his suspended sentence, the attack occurred outside a fast food restaurant in Crumlin early this morning. Three inebriated women entered the Abracadabra where Donnelly was after a night out, and they immediately began yelling at them. Before the couple could escape the women's attacks, one of the women, called Byrne, arrived and attacked Donnelly. After the unprovoked assault, he told Mr. Donnelly's girlfriend, Jennifer Doyle, to tell him that it would be from bullets if he woke up. To Mr. Donnelly and his partner, Byrne and his associates repeatedly threatened not to testify in court after the assault. After a court hearing regarding the case, women connected to Byrne attacked Miss Doyle. A Garda involved in the case was also threatened by Byrne associates to get the couple to withhold their testimony. When the information that Byrne's associates had hired an INLA hitman to kill him surfaced, it was revealed that Donnelly had been forced into hiding. Finally, after an appeal for undue leniency, Byrne's attack sentence for four years was later increased to six. He was on his way to almost becoming a high-profile criminal. The story of his rise to prominence as a criminal. While inside, many of Byrne's associates were deeply involved in the crumlin Drimna feud, fought on one side by Byrne's cousin, Fat Freddy Thompson, and on the other by Brian Radigan. However, Byrne's time in prison did not affect his ascent through the criminal underworld's ranks. Similar to the Kinahan Hutch feud, the crumlin Drimna feud began as a result of an argument between gang members. Radigan fatally knifed gang member Declan Gavin outside the same Abracadabra, where Byrne assaulted Donnelly as a result of a disagreement over a drug seizure. The first of 16 murders connected to that dispute was Gavin's. Although David Byrne, who was fatally shot in the attack on the Regency Hotel, was heavily involved in the crumlin Drimna feud on Thompson's side and testified during Radigan's trial because he was present when Gavin was killed, Liam Byrne was already incarcerated at the time of that stabbing. As part of the feud in 2006, David was thought to have been involved in the murder of Gary Bryan in Watkinstown. In connection with the shooting incident connected to the dispute in August 2008, he was exonerated of all firearms-related charges. After a 20-year-old man was shot in the lower torso in Ballyfermot, Gardai also detained David, who was with the deceased, convicted murderer Eugene the Devil Cullen. As a member of the Burns family's criminal organization, 
Fat Freddy Thompson was not the only one with such ties. Other cousins in the gang include Liam Rowe, who was present at the Regency when David Byrne was shot dead, Ian Scarface O'Connor, who was targeted by CAB and has a history of convictions, Richie Thompson, Freddie's brother, and Liam Brannigan, who is currently serving an eight-year sentence for plotting to kill Gary Hanley as part of the feud. Anthony McEnroe, Liam Byrne's brother-in-law, was referred to as a trusted member of the Byrne Organized Crime Group in court and has a history of drug-dealing convictions. However, Thomas Bomber Cavanaugh, a different brother-in-law, was also a key figure in the Byrne and Kinahan operations. Bomber, who was originally from Drimna, relocated to Tamworth near Birmingham in England after becoming the target of the Criminal Assets Bureau, which had earlier taken possession of a home from him in Dublin more than 20 years. Bomber, who is married to Liam and David's sister Joanne, is a longtime friend of the Burns and was once a close associate of former Martin the General Cahill associate Jojo Cavanaugh. He established a sizable drug smuggling operation in the UK and had close ties to Christy Kinahan Sr., who had also lived in Tamworth at one point. Before being recently targeted by UK authorities, Bomber effectively ran the Kinahan Cartel's UK and Ireland division. As part of their extensive criminal network, people besides Byrne relied on family members. Paul Cavanaugh and Gerard Hatchett Cavanaugh, the cousins of the Bomber, were also involved in his operation, but both were killed by gunfire in 2014. The Kinahan cartel was suspected of ordering both attacks. Christy Kinahan had relocated to Spain and had developed into a more significant figure in the global drug scene by the time Liam Byrne was released from prison in the mid-2000s. Liam also relocated to the Costa del Sol as he coordinated the shipments of drugs and weapons to Ireland from his base in Spain, working alongside Kinahan and other criminals. While he was residing there, Peter Fatso Mitchell and other criminals were seen in photos with Byrne and his father in the Kinahan stronghold of Puerto Banas. In 2010, a shipment containing an AK-47 machine gun, 9 kilograms of cocaine, and two RPG-22 rocket launchers were found in Kildare. Byrne was suspected of being the person responsible. Byrne's associate Jonathan Rocketman Harding was detained in connection with that haul but later released without being charged. After the Kinahan cartel was targeted by Spanish authorities on the Costa del Sol for more than 10 years ago, Byrne spent some time abroad before returning to Ireland. Byrne left Ireland and established himself in the UK following the outbreak of the Kinahan Hutch feud and his targeting by the Criminal Assets Bureau. After locating Byrne in 2019, he relocated to a neighborhood near Bomber Cavanaugh. At Ipswich Crown Court, Bomber received a 21-year sentence for orchestrating drug shipments into the UK using a sophisticated import and export scheme that employed modified machinery to conceal drugs and cash from law enforcement and customs officials. Despite leaving his Tamworth base after Kavanaugh's ouster, Byrne remained the BOCG's leader. Recently, he has been spotted hanging out with Stephen Gerrard, a former Liverpool footballer, and his daughter, Lily Ella, was found to be dating Lee Byrne. But unlike Lee, Gerrard and his daughter never engaged in criminal activities. This is the story of Liam Byrne and how he rose up through the ranks of the Kinahan cartel to become one of the most notorious criminals in history. So that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Do let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.